All right. Uh, well, we know all of us here know that I love to adventure, and now we want to show you some of the top RVs that are in literally like top of the line and in for public viewing right now, and we're getting a sneak peek. And we've got Mike Caudill, who is our auto expert, joining us from Elkhart, Indiana, at the Elkhart MV Show. Good morning, friend. What's behind you? Hey, good morning, Dina. Well, I'm going to bring the same excitement as that previous segment, right? A little <laughs> basketball here as go. we're thinking about RVs. And uh, you're right, I am here in Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world. And uh, I am here for the 2023 RV dealer open house where everybody's showing off their latest and greatest in RV technology. Now, I know you love adventure. I am from California. Grew up near Lake Tahoe, spent many a time out at Folsom. I know the mountains, I know the terrain, so I picked out five RVs that make sense for California. And okay. starting right off the top, we've got the Forest River Palomino Paws Travel Trailer. Now, I want you to think Rubicon up in Lake Tahoe. Off road suspension, yes. high ground clearance, but look at the back. It opens up to nature, so you get that beautiful airflow coming through your RV. And of course, you're grilling outside next to the Truckee River. Because that's what you do in an RV travel trailer like this. Now, California, big into technology, big into electric technology. Check this out right here. This is the A liner AMP. Obviously, the name AMP indicates battery technology. It has solar power up on top, pulled down into batteries. You can take it completely off grid. But the best part about it is you can sleep six on the inside of this little travel trailer up to 2,500 pounds. The lightest one is 1,200 pounds, meaning you could. Pull it with a Subaru Cross Trek. Now, oh, I wow. think about my mom and dad getting into an RV. They might not want to pull something, but they might want to drive. This is the East to West Tala Class C built on a Ford Transit Connect oh. chassis, but it's all wheel drive. And in your weather segment, you said the first snows are coming to the Sierras. So with all wheel drive, you get that. But inside, Look it's how all nice about that is inside, Mike. I know. Look how pretty that is on the inside. And then, of course, speaking of overlanding and off roading, sticking with the theme Keystone and their Outback OBX. Again, off roading, mountain bikes up top. Oh, on cool. the inside, this one also sleeps four with bunk beds. So a family of four fits comfortably inside of this one. And it also has a bathroom. And then I'll close it out with this one for you, Dina. Winnebago, which is known for bigger travel trailers and Class A's, this is their new entry into the market under. $30,000 for the Winnebago access with solar on top, beautiful interior, wow. maple wood, big screen TV. It's just amazing to be here in Elkhart. So many cool things, Dina. I think if I had to guess, you're more of that Forest River Palomino pause, like outdoor adventure oh, person, yeah. and you can take the family. What do you think? Always, always. It's got to have at least the all wheel drive, and it's got to be able to go in the off road and by the Truckee River, is preferably where I want to be, just like you said. Um, Mike Caudill from Elkhart, Indiana, thank you so much. And uh, we are going to always be checking in with him. He's got the latest and greatest, not only in RVs, but in cars. Cody, Elkhart, Indiana. Elkhart, Indiana? Yeah. That's where Carol's from. Oh, well. Wonderful. Yeah. Maybe you should buy a new RV. I should. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mike. Good to see you. Bye, guys. Back to you guys. Thanks, Dina.